Hello everyone, this is Harry Doan again. Uh, in this lesson, I'm going to teach you Multisim. Multisim is a software where you can simulate any electrical or electronic circuits. First thing you do, you go and find your Multisim software. You go to Start button, type Multisim, M-U-L-T-I-S-M, is uh, straight away Multisim, sorry, S-I-M. Uh, as soon as you say an M-U-L-T, it turns up here, so you can click on that, it opens the page, it goes through the initialization, and <coughs> there you go. You have a blank page where you can uh, design your circuit and test it. Uh, with this multi-sim software, you can basically uh, simulate any electrical, electronic, or digital circuits. Now, the this, this concept of using this multi-sim is very simple. I can't go through every single item on this um, software because it's going to be years of, or months of going through it. So uh, I'll just go through the basic elements and how to find things so you know how to find your ways around it and navigate around things and um, then the rest is up to you. <clears throat> on the right side column, uh, where my mouse is showing, this, this side, are all your cons um, equipment or test instruments, uh, starting from multimeter, function generator. If you hover over them, it tells you what it is, what meter, oscilloscope, four channel oscilloscope, and so on. On this side, in this row, you have different categories of different components or devices. What I usually do, I go usually to ba place basic, but you can find your own ways and uh, find the same component. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to stick to one method. There's different paths. One, once you get used to it, you, you'll see there's different ways of getting around and design your circuit. So, if you want to make a simple circuit, I'm just going to make a big, very simple basic circuit here, electronic circuit, and <clears throat> press basic, choose your category, you can choose the category by this drop down and say, let's say for instance, diodes, transistors, TTL, analog gates and this and that, uh, power, uh, miscellaneous, well, I'll go on the basics and find resistors. This is my resistors and you can choose the value of that resistor. By default it goes to one kilo ohm so uh, if you want to choose a different value you can you can pick your value but what I'll do again what I tend to do is I just drop them down here and then later you can change the values by double clicking on them. <clears throat> so I just drop down a few resistors just build a series circuit of resistors and on multisim when you're designing a circuit you always have to have a ground so you go to power sources on the category sources power sources and then you have there you go you have a ground here or digital ground uh, either one works you need to have a ground for it to operate right and I also need a power supply in this example. I'm just going to pick a DC supply and drop it there. So you, what you do, you just click on it. It minimizes this and it goes here on this page. You can just click again, you drop it there. So I think I've finished with this uh, window. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose a couple of multimeters. So I pick a multimeter, click on this. It comes here and then you can move it across, click again, it drops it there. I'll pick another one to use as a meter, drop it there, and then the way you connect these devices together or components, you click on one end of the component and pull and click again to the end of the other component, however you want to connect them. And, and that's how you wire them up. Click. It's all left click, click, 
and drop. Now I want to use this one as an ammeter, so a meter connected in series. I'm not going through the electrical uh, electronic lesson. This is just a simple lesson just to teach you how to use multisim as a simulation software. And this one, I'm going to use this one as a voltmeter. So I've connected in parallel with this resistor. I just want to measure this resistor. Now, what I said about resistors, I've just dropped them, all of them, as you notice. They're all one kilo ohms. Now, you can double click on them and change the value. Let's say you want to change that to 10 kilo ohm. And this one to, let's get rid of K, to 100 ohms. If you don't put anything sign in front of it, you'll just uh, take it as ohms. And 150 ohms. Now, double click on the multimeter. You can drag it uh, to this side by clicking on it and dragging it. Left click, drag. Now, you see by default again, it's picked voltmeter and DC. I need DC, but I don't need a voltmeter for this one. This, this is supposed to be my ammeter, so I'll choose amps. And this one, voltmeter DC is fine. And again, voltage, you can decide what, how many volts you want. Let's change that to 9 volts. And then, once you've built your circuit and you put all the equipment around it, you can simulate it. You can either press this green arrow, which says run, or F5, or press this switch, simulation switch. And there you go. You have your circuit going and your measurements showing. This one is showing 8.78 volts, and this one is showing 878.057 microamps. And that's how you simulate your design. And then you can stop it by this, or go back to the same switch and stop it on this corner. Now, if you want to look for an item, let's say you go to place basic, uh, you can go on the master database and type, let's say I want an AND gate. I don't know uh, what category it is on. So you go on the all groups, all groups, and, and it shows you all the AND gates that you can have. Uh, four inputs, three inputs, two inputs, and all that. Or you want to 555 timer and that's how you you find your items if, if you don't know which category but if you don't if you do know then you go on the let's say diodes and then pick your particular diode or you can just again go to all groups master database all groups and say 1n and it brings up your different different types of diodes so that's how you you search for things. There is also an option of a set of a few sets of circuits. It's already done for you. It's, it's called it's come on the tools circuit wizard, and you can choose five 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 timer. It's already done a circuit for you. Uh, let's let me open a different page. If you want to open a different page, you, you just press this new, and it keeps that old one for you. So create. Now your design one is here. Your design two is here. But while one design is running, you can't run the other one. You have to stop one to run the other one. At the moment, this one is stopped, and this one can you can. And um, let's just show you. Just show you. The 555 timer, for instance, you can choose different values for different time timing, and then build a circuit. Drop it here, and you can you can still change values. You can you can move things around and change them around and alter it. But it's just it's just a shortcut basically to some circuits. Um, the same with filter wizard, or pump wizard. And that's an oil pump, operational amplifiers, and what else do we have? BJT amplifier wizard, and all that. So there's a 
few things uh, that can be a shortcut for you to your results. This is Feridun, and this is your lesson for today. I'll talk to you again with another new lesson in electronics. Goodbye.